Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on solving cubic and quartic equations for Key Stage 5. Now this is just going to be a, a short video and in fact I'm not going to even cover quartics but uh, we'll see the principle uh, that would allow us to solve it anyway. But we've got these two cubic equations here and we want to solve them. Now we have a variety of strategies for solving quadratic equations. We can try and factorise it, uh, we can use a quadratic formula and believe it or not there is a cubic formula uh, and your calculator, your class with for example, will uh, solve uh, cubics. And the method we're going to use here for cubics is just to factorise but it's a bit harder to factorise because with quadratics we can think of like oh, two numbers that add to give the middle number etc uh, but with cubics it's not quite so easy so we're going to see the strategy behind that. Now the strategy here is to use the factor theorem and if you haven't seen my video yet on the factor theorem can I advise that you watch that first and the idea is that if we substitute a particular value into here and it gives us zero then we can get a factor from that. So if we just call this f of x and let's try f of different values and just hope that we get zero for one of them. So I tend to try one first, so that gives you one plus one minus 11 plus 10, and that gives you one, which is not zero. So that didn't work. What about, uh, let's try f of two. We might have tried f of minus one next, but let's just try two. Uh, we've got eight plus two squared, which is four, minus 11 times two, which is minus 22, plus 10, and then if we do that on our calculator or in our heads, we find that actually is zero, so that does work. And that means, if you remember back to the factor theorem, that if two works and it gives you zero as the output, then x minus two is a factor. Therefore, and that's the F4 symbol, is a factor. Do you remember that we just negate whatever that number is and shove an x in the front? So it's x minus 2, and that would be the factor. So at that point, we can use our uh, favourite method in order to write this as x minus 2 times something. We could use long division, or we can use my preferred method, which is to kind of use intelligent guessing to get the further bracket. So it's x minus 2 times something. Now let's think about the expansion. x times what is going to give that x cubed? Well, it's just x squared, isn't it? Now to get the constant term, it would be that minus 2 times whatever this constant is here, and that would be the only constant term. So to get plus 10, this is going to have to be minus 5. Now we've also got plus something or minus something x, but we don't know what that is. And remember, the way we could do this is trying to match either the x squared term or the x term. So let's just say we want to match this x squared term. We need to have plus 1x squared in this expansion. Well, where are we going to get an x squared term from in this expansion? Well, it could be the x times this mystery x term here would give us an x squared term, whatever that is. And also the minus 2 times the x squared would also give you a x squared term. So if we combine those together, we've got minus 2x squared plus something x squared is 1x squared. Well, minus 2 plus 3 is 1. So minus 2x squared plus 3x squared would give you the 1x squared. So that must be plus 3. Now we said we're solving this equals 0. So we want this is equal to 0. So that gives us one solution of x equals 2, which we already knew was a solution because 2 satisfies this equation. But we also get this second solution where x squared plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now that doesn't factorise, so we're going to have to use a quadratic formula. So the a is 1 here, b is 3, c is minus 5, and then we can use a quadratic formula. Or to be honest, um, we could just use the quadratic solver on our calculator. So we've got 1x squared plus 3x minus 5, and that gives you two solutions. x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 2. And there we go, we have solved this cubic. So just to recap, the strategy is to work out an initial factor by just plugging in different values and using the factor theorem to turn that into a factor. Remember that we have to get 0 as the output. And then we use algebraic long division as we saw in another video, or my preferred method of sort of using your common sense to work out the other bracket by considering the expansion uh, and then we can say either that is zero to get the two or that equals zero, which we then use the quadratic formula. Now sometimes, and particularly in university admissions papers like the Maths Aptitude Test, the MAT, um, the factorizations are easier because we can actually look at these pairwise. If I copy this out big, and this doesn't always work, but let's look 
pairwise of these terms, so each pair of terms. And if you're familiar with the idea of splitting the term for quadratics, then you will have a notion of this already. So let's factorise this first pair of terms and the second pair of terms. Can you see that these have a common factor of x squared? So I'm going to factorise that out to get x squared brackets x minus 1. And then I hope that we're going to get the same bracket for the second pair of terms. And let's think, what times x minus 1 is going to give this? Well, it's minus 1. And it happens to work here, but it often won't, and it usually won't. But now we've got a common factor of x minus 1, so we factor that out with a second bracket. Now, x minus 1 times what is x squared x minus 1? Well, it's x squared. And x minus 1 times what is minus 1 x minus 1? Well, it's minus 1. And now this, look, that's a difference of two squares, so we can factorise that again to give you x plus 1 x minus 1 equals 0. And then we can see there's a repeated factor of x minus 1. So it's x minus 1 squared and x plus 1 is equal to 0. And that means if this bracket is 0, then x is equal to 1. And if this bracket is 0, then x is equal to minus 1. And we have found all the solutions to this cubic.